Hi everybody, my name is Renee and I'm here today to do a tutorial for my talking skeleton head. So this one isn't quite completed but just to give you an idea of what I was talking about um, to see if you want to stick around for the tutorial. So for this particular tutorial I am starting off with two and a half square piece of white cardstock, three and by four and three eighths card, black cardstock and four and five eighths by three and three eighths cardstock from uh, the Tim Holtz eight by eight collection there. So what I do is, and this is an Inca Dinka do stamp, um, the skull head. So just gonna ink it up. And just stamp it. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to cut out this bottom jawline. So to save time, I'm just going to um, just give me an idea of what I'm talking about. I'm just going to cut to the bottom of the jawline. And for the teeth, I just eyeball it as best as I can and come out to that jawline and then just finish cutting. Okay, so we're just going to get it all the way out there. And there's the bottom jaw cut out. So then I just like to ink up around the edges. Okay, so I just inked up around all the edges. Now you don't have to do that. I just like to so it's not such a bright white. Now this piece we are going to glue on here so that it'll be our sliding mechanism. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue that. Now I just like to use some wet glue. So it gives me that little bit of wiggle room because I want to make sure it's going to Come up and down in here straight. Because it's on an angle, it's a little bit hard to judge where it's at. So, just keep playing with it a bit. Okay, so it looks pretty even on the back here and it looks even on the front. So that's where I want it. Now we're just going to glue this piece down onto um, the black cardstock or whatever one you've chosen. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've glued it down and I've glued it near the top portion here because we need some room to uh, make the mechanism work. So. Just try to even it up on both sides there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut out this little black area. So I just take my ruler again and we're just going to cut it out like okay, that. So just going to pop all that out and now we're going to work on the mechanism because it's going to slide under here. So I'm just going to mark it to, don't need that piece yet, just going to mark it where we want the pull area to be down approximately here. We want a little bit of room there, so I'm just going to judge where the area is because we're going to need it to be this wide. So it's roughly the area where I want it, but I want it this wide. So I'm just going to come out a little bit and I can feel where the cardstock is under there. So we're going to cut it that wide. So I just make sure it looks even. And you're going to erase any pencil lines. Pop 
that out. And we're going to make sure our pull tab fits down in there. Okay. So now what we need to create is a stopper here. So what I'm going to do is we just need a little piece that's wider than this piece. So let's stick this back up in here and we're going to pull it down to where we can't see the mouth anymore. And we're going to hold it in place, turn it over, and we're going to tape that piece down. Okay, so we're going to make sure it doesn't come out over the edge here. So that's our stopper. Now we need to make sure it stops coming back up. So we're going to put it in the up position, turn it over, and we're going to cut a strip that's a lot longer than this because we're going to wrap it around. Okay, so I have my edges stuck together and then I just put a piece of sticky tape here and now we want to make sure it's on the single side not the side that you fold it over because your uh, mechanism may stick a bit so we want the sticky part to be sticking down so we're just going to slide it over like that and again make sure it's fully in the up position and Hold it into place and our sticky tape is there. So we're just going to remove that and we're going to make it sure it's down touching this other stopper and we're going to press down so that it's in the up position and that way our mechanism can move freely. So the stopper is down here, just glued to this piece of cardstock, and this one is glued to this piece of cardstock. But this one is only on the mechanism. So we got a stopper to go up and a stopper to go down. Okay, so now all we need to do is attach it to our uh, background piece here. So I just lightly glue around the edges here because we don't want it's sticking to our mechanism at all. So I'm just going to do a light coating around here. And this is all the way in the up position, so we can put a little bit more glue there. But try not to get too close at all. And just a little bit down there. So then we glue it down. Just kind of make sure it's centered. And in the up position, we're just going to trim it down a bit. So, because you don't want this huge long tail hanging. So just wherever you figure and then you can decorate it up. I like to add some glossy accents around, maybe glossy accent the teeth or um, some cool little googly eyes you can put in the skull's head and then you just this place is uh, flat. this piece is completely flat there's no mechanism there so you can put it on a card this way or in your flip book and thank you so much for making me talk and that's the tutorial for today. Thanks everybody. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comment box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, have an awesome blessed day. Bye for now.